четыре. Good afternoon, friends. Today we will talk about the most relevant events in the world. The world today. Russia to give military technical response if F-16 jets appear over Ukraine, Lavrov. One civilian killed, eight wounded in Donetsk as result of shelling by Ukrainian troops. Russia always retaliates after Ukrainian strikes, Putin. Russia to keep destroying Western armor supplied to Ukraine, says Putin. And so let's get started. Russia has destroyed 30% of Western armor supplied to Ukraine and will keep wiping it out, Russian President Vladimir Putin said at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum on Friday. It is not us who refuse to hold a dialogue with them, they have simply moved this dialogue to the sphere of arms deliveries. But we will torch all that they have supplied and we'll see what they will do next, the Russian leader said, responding to questions at the forum. Some 30% of supplied heavy armor has already been destroyed. I am not talking about Bradleys and Leopards alone. As many as 218 tanks, among them Leopards, and 418 armored vehicles, as I can remember, including Bradleys, are the total quantity. But there are no doubts that this process will continue, Putin said. They would better opt for a different pathway and look for peaceful means of resolving the dispute. But it has not come down to this so far and we see that they are trying to win a victory on the battlefield. Let them try. We will see what will come out of their attempts. So far, they are failing and will hardly achieve anything, the Russian president said. Russia always responds militarily to Ukrainian strikes, but it seldom presents its retaliation as breaking news. Russian President Vladimir Putin said on the sidelines of the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum on Friday. We hit military targets with high-accuracy long-range and high-yield weapons and succeed in this respect. It's enough to see arms depots, warehouses and barracks housing personnel, including foreign mercenaries, destroyed. There always follows a retaliation. We just avoid presenting it as breaking news very often, but this retaliation is sensitive and the enemy knows this, Putin said. Kyiv must understand that in case of continued attacks on Russian territory, Moscow will consider creating a sanitary cordon in Ukraine, he warned. If these attacks on our adjacent territories continue, we will consider creating a sanitary cordon on Ukrainian territory. They just have to realize where they are heading for, he said. The St. Petersburg International Economic Forum, the largest annual economic and business event in Russia, is running on June 14th to 17th. The theme of this year's forum is sovereign development as a basis for a just world, joining forces for future generations. The event is organized by the Rose Congress Foundation. TASS is its official media partner. One woman was killed and eight more civilians were wounded in Donetsk as a result of shelling by Ukrainian troops, the city's mayor, Alexei Kolemzin said on Friday. A woman born in 1953 was killed, women born in 1954, 1958, 1959, 1967, 1983, and 1984, and two men born in 1978 were wounded, he wrote on his Telegram channel. Ukrainian troops shelled Donetsk's Kirovsky district on Friday. A shell hit a bus stop. According to acting head of the Donetsk People's Republic Denis Pushilin, shelling was conducted from Hamar's multiple launch rocket systems. Russia is ready to give a military technical response if F-16 fighter jets appear in the skies over Ukraine. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said in an interview with the RT television channel on Friday. Of course, a military technical response will follow, he said, responding to a related question. Lavrov added that Russia had presented a very serious démarche within the framework of the UN Security Council panel Nuclear 5. In connection with the possibility of F-16 aircraft being prepared for transfer to Ukraine to carry nuclear weapons, 